Hey everybody, looking to smoke some chicken breasts on a Pit Boss pellet grill? Well then you're in the right place. We're gonna season, smoke, and then sauce these chicken breasts right here on our Pit Boss Pro Series 1150. So stay tuned and follow along. Hey guys, welcome back to Mad Backyard. So today we're gonna to be smoking these uh, chicken breasts on our Pit Boss pellet grill. For the full step-by-step -step recipe, make sure to check out the link in the description below of the recipe at madbackyard.com. You can find this recipe for smoked chicken breasts along with a whole bunch of other great recipes and resources all about smoking and grilling. Okay, so today we've got some simple white meat, boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Now, if you're doing skin on, bone in chicken breast, the recipe is gonna be a little different, so make sure to check out that recipe link I mentioned. When I do skin on chicken, I like to dry brine it the night before to get that skin nice and crispy on the pellet grill. But uh, since we got boneless, skinless today, we can just season them up and put them right on. So first what we're gonna do is get a little oil on these chicken breasts so that our rub sticks. Just gonna spray it a little there. Now today we're using Three Little Pigs Kansas City Championship Barbecue Rub. This is one of my favorite all-time rubs. It works on almost anything, but I especially like it on chicken. So it's got a little bit of garlic, a little onion, a little spice, and it gives you a lot of flavor. So let's go ahead and get these seasoned up with some of this uh, Three Little Pigs Barbecue Rub. Okay, we're gonna let that rub settle in a little bit while we get our pit boss set up to temperature. All right, today we're gonna to be using some apple pellets in the pit boss to smoke our chicken breasts. I like using fruit wood on poultry because poultry absorbs a lot of smoke flavor. So you wanna use a milder pellet like a fruit wood, like apple, cherry, something like that. So we're gonna do some apple today, just a straight apple blend. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour these in the hopper. Okay, we plugged in and turned on our pit boss. Now we're gonna set the temperature to 300 degrees. So I'm gonna push the temperature button here. It's on smoke. We're gonna let it warm up. 300 degrees is where we're gonna cook our chicken breast today. It's a good temperature because it's not so low that they dry out before they cook. And it's also not so high that we're gonna burn the uh, barbecue sauce we're gonna put on at the end. So we'll give that a little time to heat up and then we'll put our chicken on. All right guys, we got our chicken breast seasoned up. The pit boss is up to 300 degrees now. We're gonna go ahead and get these on. I like to keep most of my food on the left side of the pit boss here because I find it's a little closer to the actual temperature readout versus the right side gets a little hotter. So we're gonna put these on over here on the left side. I did oil up the grates a little before I did this. All right, now because these are boneless, skinless, they're gonna take about 40 minutes or so to cook. We'll check back here in a little while, and I'll get a temperature probe in one of them too so we can keep an eye on them. If you're doing bone-in, skin-on chicken breast, probably gonna take a little closer to an hour depending on the size of them. But make sure you're using a good temperature probe so you can keep track of uh, when they're ready. What we're shooting for is 165 degree internal final temperature on these chicken breasts. Now we're gonna add some barbecue sauce here in a little while. We don't wanna put it on right now or it's gonna get a little too cooked. So we'll put it on when the chicken gets to about 120, 130. So one of my favorite sauce brands is definitely Blues Hog. Now the Blues Hog original is very thick and very sweet and a little goes a long way. And I usually like to cut it with another kind of barbecue sauce. The Tennessee Red is more of a vinegar based sauce and I use it all the time on pulled pork. It's delicious. For our Pit Boss smoked chicken breast, I'm gonna kind of mix the two together. We'll do about a quarter of the original and three quarters of the Tennessee Red. You can see how thick that is. A lot of flavor in there. And here's the Tennessee Red. It's a little thinner, I'm gonna stir it up. A little thinner. Now we're gonna mix those around. We'll have a good blend of the two types of sauce. I'll have links to both the Three Little Pigs barbecue rub and the two kinds of Blues Hog barbecue sauce down in the description below the video if you want to try them out for yourself. All right guys, it's been about 20 minutes. I went ahead and put a temperature probe in one of the bigger pieces. Now these chicken breasts aren't too big, so they're actually cooking a little faster than I anticipated, but this one's at about 140 degrees right now. You can see on the thermometer there. Uh, so we're getting closer to our 165 mark. We're gonna go ahead and uh, start putting some sauce on these.
Okay, everybody, it's been about 45 minutes or so. I think our chicken breasts are pretty much done. I'm gonna go ahead and check the temperature here on our Thermapro instant thermometer. Yep, we're running right at about 165, so that's perfect. We're gonna go ahead and take these off. All right, guys, we finished smoking our uh, Pit Boss smoked chicken breasts here today. It took about 45 minutes in total at 300 degrees. We're gonna go ahead and cut into one of these guys here and see how it looks. All right, so you can see it's nice and juicy inside. That looks delicious. All right, guys, we finished our uh, Pit Boss smoked chicken breasts. You can see they came out really good. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try a little bite here. Let's see how we did. You get the smoke from the apple wood pellets, a little garlic and onion from that three pigs rub, and that sweetness from that barbecue sauce. These are really good. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video on how to make some Pit Boss smoked chicken breasts. For the full step-by-step -step recipe, make sure to click the link in the description below. We'll also have links to all the sauces, seasonings, and products we used today. You can also find a whole bunch more barbecue recipes, tips, tricks, how-to guides, and other resources at madbackyard.com. And if you like this video and want to see more like it, make sure to hit the like button and also the subscribe button to the Mad Backyard channel. Thanks again for watching.